Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, for those of you who are new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far, so if you'd like to see what those are about, all the information about that is in the description box below. So um, I'm in the United States and uh, this weekend we're having the 4th of July, so I'm all set up for that. But also, um, Mother Mary wanted to come through uh, really a lot, and I think it's because of um, some things going on in the world in regards to women. We're going to be using the Tarot of the Divine here by Yoshi Yoshitani. We're going to be using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, the Ascended Masters deck, as well as the Keepers of the Light. Um, Mary is in both Ascended Masters and Keepers of the Light. So let's get this started and see what we can get for you at this time, Virgo. I just inherited this Mary. Isn't she lovely? She was my grandmother's for teaching CCD. Boy, these, this deck is thick. <laughs> it's got thick cards. All right, what do we get first? Oh, five of cups. I hope this needs to come out a little bit. That's holy water from Lord's France. Um, yeah, five of cups. There's some mourning going on here. What's going on, Virgo? What are you sad about? Thank you. I was going to say, that can't be the only tarot we're going to get. Somebody deceived you. Coyote energy here. Somebody thinks they're smart. They're getting away with something. Hanged man status. So this is going to put you at a standstill for a while until you get that epiphany until you understand what you need to do your life is going to be in a standstill for a minute life in suspension let's see what else we can get the fool in reverse under the five of cups there was no new beginning there was no new spiritual path. This is the little mermaid, the, the fool. So it's like she never got to come out of the water. She never got to have her adventure on land. Knight of Swords in the reverse, under the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Wands under the Hanged Man. Oh, okay. So yeah, Five of Cups. You are um, mourning over the fact that, see, this is, this is the Little Mermaid. She didn't get to go anywhere, okay? You didn't have your new beginning. Um, this is a major arcana as well. So this is spirit, spiritual journey, your soul's journey. Seven of Swords, somebody was trying to get away with something, so um, that's why something was not moving. Something that had to do with intellect, thoughts. Um, Seven of Swords can be um, stealing intellectual property, which is, you know, the, the creativity of someone else's mind. And this caused a standstill. And so in this standstill, I feel like you're waiting for this conflict to be over because now there's conflict. The longer this goes on and nobody knows where to go, they're going to start fighting amongst themselves. The thing here about this five of wands is that when everyone is done, everybody's going to be better off for it. Also, this is 
these are the Pandevas. Pandevas? Sorry, guys, I can't look it up right now. But they're brothers, okay? These are brother gods. And, you know, they, they often get into quarrels, but when they're, you know, when it all comes down to it, they all love each other and they make up, okay? So, yeah, you're dealing with some sort of loss because of someone's deceit. Well, two of coins. Now, this is when you're juggling. And I believe this is the first time the two of coins has ever come out uh, when I've read this deck. Interesting. This is juggling, but this is also when your life is topsy-turvy, going back and forth. Um, also, she looks kind of, she doesn't look like she has a lot of money. And what I just heard was uh, two pennies to, somebody doesn't have two pennies to rub together. Doesn't have to be you, but somebody doesn't. It could be the person who tried to get away with something. Let's see, um, let's see what the Ascended Masters have to say about this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also doing um, two minute summaries of these videos, of these readings over on TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, you can follow me there as well. All my links are in the description box. I'm only on Facebook, here on YouTube, and on TikTok. Also, I do sell personal readings if you would like one. You can send me a message on Messenger or you can email me at the email address in the description box. If you would like to give me a tip, my PayPal is also in the description box. Palace Athena. Wow. Detach from drama. Yeah. So this right here. Now I'm feeling like this is, is you, okay? You're, you're just like, no. I am just going to wait this out, and I'm going to do it serenely, <laughs> and I'm going to calm my soul, because this is a uh, major arcana, okay? Major arcana is all about your soul work. And, you know, this is the drama. So you're just going to sit back and be this hanged man energy and watch while the drama plays out, okay? Because it's not your drama, right? Let's see, is there these two want to come out, okay? Fertility and flow of prosperity. Okay, so this is abundance. Okay, flow of prosperity, yes, abundance. Lakshmi, she is the goddess of abundance, the Hindu goddess of money. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling like this is, this is what this is over. Somebody was trying to steal someone else's ideas. Um, the, the fertility is the, it's representing possibilities. Because I don't see anything in here that would represent um, like a child. Although, you know, it could be an intellectual child. Oh, we do have a child here. With this two of coins this mother energy she's got a what the heck is that that's a baby with a bear butt and a bear with a baby butt i gotta read that that's <laughs> anyway <laughs> wow these two really kind of match see the colors see this one is kind of purpley okay so that's that's this right here but this is what it's over this is the reason why. Underneath. Paramansa Yogananda. Choose peace. Yep. For you, detach from drama. Choose the peace. You don't need any of this. You don't need to get involved. I'm just going to pause you for a sec while I take a sip of my coffee. All righty. We're going to um, see what the keepers 
of the light have to say about this? strength, Bridget, move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Okay? Don't let this upset you. As you watch all this go on, just breathe. Breathe through it. Care and compassion. Kuan Yin, choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Kuan Yin is a, like a, the Chinese version of Mary. Oh, guys, there she is, the Magdalene, not Mother Mary, the Magdalene, mm -hmm. Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens, you have something important to share, follow the inner call, don't let anything stop you, okay, so what's going on right now then, guys, you're being stopped, come to a standstill here. You got the strength to do this. Move back to wholeness. Don't don't give your strength to others. Like, you know, nobody likes drama, but you can be strong, okay? You can be uh, compassionate, but also know that you've got to continue on. Because, oh, okay, yeah, St. Germain. Karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Oh, wow. It says that right there. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Alrighty. Let's see what the wisdom deck is going to get for you, and we'll close out your reading. Thank you, Mother Mary. This is Virgo, sign of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, but also Magdalene. The air conditioner is so loud. I don't know about you guys, but do you guys have like these birds that sing outside your window all night because I've got one over there <laughs> over here <laughs> sings all night so loud Yeah, this has something to do with beauty. I, I believe that your life is about to become really beautiful, especially if you're going to be releasing this karma. So this, this, is, this could be your family or this could be your soul family where all this conflict is going on because you've got karma releasing. These, these are people that you've lived lives with before that you have karma with. And what you're doing here is you're healing it, okay? And that... Uh, that is emotion. So your life is about to become really beautiful. I love this card because it reminds me so much of the lovely young ladies that I have on my, um, on my wall here on YouTube. The design that I used. Oh, intuition. Gosh, I just love this high priestess's headpiece here. It's, it's not really, it's a, it's, yeah, peace on her shoulder, the dove of peace. Oh, and the moon as well. Hang on. 
Yeah, so I feel like this may um, have something, you are the high priestess, or this has something to do with a high priestess. Um, somebody knew something. And centering. They want you to center in yourself. That's choosing peace. That's, you know, leaving the drama behind. This is releasing the karma and staying balanced. You know, you've got this two of coins here. Oh, wow. Okay, because... On the bottom of the deck, uh, uh, underneath the two of coins, you've got the ten of coins. This is about your inheritance. This is about your family. And also about freedom. See, she's holding this dove of peace. And there is a big message about peace here. Of course it is Mary. Mary's bird is the white dove of peace. So she is saying, I'm trying to bring you peace again. You will have peace peace again and your life will be beautiful now i said oh wait a second and that's because i wanted to get out uh, the moonology deck because this week is the new moon it's actually tomorrow so i'm just going to grab a card from here and see what the moon has to say about this because i've been seeing the moon as well at least one card because okay that's just too many yeah that's just too many just one card please thank you what do you need to release okay so they're like okay you we just want to re reiterate that what's going on here is karma releasing okay that's what you're here to release you're here to choose peace, which gives you this freedom to create, to be fertile. Okay? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Have faith in your dreams. All right, that's what I have for you at this time, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. <clears throat> Pardon me. Please don't forget to si uh, subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.